The Netgear Nighthawk X6 AC3200 tri-band router delivers a massive combined wireless speed of up to 3.2 gigabits per second. It has six high-performance Wi-Fi antennas and a dual-core 1 gigahertz processor with three dedicated offload processors for each of the Wi-Fi radios to give you maximum performance for Wi-Fi, gigabit wired, and USB connections. But it's the X6's innovative tri-band technology and the intelligence it applies to each device that really changes the game for today's home Wi-Fi networks. The X6 gives you more and faster Wi-Fi for the increasing number of devices in your home. Ultimate power, uncompromising speeds, unmatched flexibility. The WRT3200ACM is performance perfected. With double the bandwidth to 160 megahertz on all spatial streams, the WRT has the fastest 5 gigahertz band on the market. By using DFS open channels and dedicated Wi-Fi background scanning, the WRT can access clearer Wi-Fi airspace for less interference and better performance. Linksys is a leader in multi-user MIMO technology. The WRT provides a powerful simultaneous streaming experience to multiple devices for blazing fast, uninterrupted Wi-Fi. The WRT is also open source ready, giving you complete flexibility to customize to your specific applications. Getting 1750 megabits per second between the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands on the 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard. The Archer C7 is also IPv6 ready and backwards compatible with 802.11 BG and N devices. A few highlights are the gigabit wireless speeds, dual band connectivity, and versatile USB ports. Inside the box you have a quick installation guide, a general public license, an ethernet cable, a power adapter, three detachable antennas, and the Archer C7. The Archer C7 offers up to 450 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and up to 1300 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band, which is two to three times faster than the fastest wireless N router currently available. On the back, you have three RPSMA connectors for the five DBI antennas, and since the antennas are detachable, you can upgrade them later in the future should you need more performance. Here are the Gigabit LAN and WAN ports, which have an NAT throughput of up to 800 megabits per second. You also have two USB ports, which you can use to set up media sharing, file sharing, printer sharing, and an FTP server. And here you have the WPS button, the Wi-Fi on-off switch, the power button, and the AC power adapter connector. This video is suitable for TP-Link, VDSL or ADSL modem routers, Archer VR2600, VR900, VR600 and other VDSL or ADSL modem routers. During this demonstration, we will be using the Archer VR2600 and a Mac operating system. Now let's go through the setup process step by step. To begin with, you need to attach the antennas to the router. Connect the splitter to your phone socket, then connect one end of the supplied cable to the modem port on the splitter, and the other end to the DSL port on the router. Connect your router to a power supply, and press the power button. The power LED will turn white when your hardware is correctly set up. The DSL LED will take about 1-2 to two minutes to stabilise. If the Wi-Fi lights are off, Please press the Wi-Fi button on the side panel for about 2 seconds and check the LED status 5 seconds later. You can set up the router by either a wired router via an Ethernet cable. Make sure your computer is not connected to any other wireless network. Now you can configure the modem router via a web browser. 